Welcome back. I am going to share with you a beauty tip in under 10 minutes, and this is in the Mary Kay spring catalog. If you have a Mary Kay girl and she has you on her preferred customer program, there is a really cool sample inside. If you didn't get one, definitely hit her up for one. Uh, if you don't have a consultant, of course, you can always reach out to me. We're going to start right off with this palette. So let me show you the colors. We have crystalline, rose gold, hazelnut, and espresso in this look for the eyes. I put on already rose gold on both eyes. So I literally just kind of tapped it on the lid like that. And it really helps as you can see to make the eye color pop with this really pretty shimmer. So I love this rose gold. It's one of my new latest favorites. Always take a look at your catalog and nine times out of 10, if there is a color look, then you will be able to find the order of application for that look and all the products that are in it, which is great. So that's always handy. Or you can just ask your consultant and uh, she can put together a customized look if you would prefer. So I put the hazelnut. Now hazelnut is a matte, rose gold obviously is a shimmer. So this is going in my crease just to give a little definition between the shimmer and the matte. I'm going a little bit above my crease here onto the brow bone and I'm going to use this darker brown color now. So this one I'm going to put underneath my eye here, just kind of brushing it across and brushing it across the top on this one. And then in the catalog, it actually recommends using the espresso as a kind of a winged eyeliner look. This would be, I don't know if you can kind of see that, uh, but the wedged applicator would be a good option uh, to use that. And also having it wet. So for those of you who don't know, you can use Mary Kay uh, shadows, wet or dry. I'm actually gonna use just the powder. And one little side tip, as long as you tap off the brush before you apply it, then uh, you will not have as much fallout. And it just makes it a softer look versus the black liquid, you know, cat eye. So we're just kind of extending it out. I'm also going to use a smudger brush because again, it's just providing a little bit of color for the pop in the center of the eye. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there and this will really shimmer it up, which I love shimmer. Just kind of opens things up there. I love this Lash Love Fanorama Mascara. This is one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. I already have some on, but I'm gonna apply a little. A lot of times I feature the eyes and in this look, it is all about featuring the lips. So there you go. And uh, do I look like her? Maybe I can wink. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Catch me next time. And if you haven't gotten my free makeup guide, make sure to check out the description and you can download that for free. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.